Press them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and I'm back with another video. So today I am going to be doing a magnetic hair roller set. So I went to the beauty supply store and got these Annie Snap-on Magnetic Rollers. And this is what it looks like. Comes in a pack of eight, so I got four of them. Um, so 32 should be enough. I doubt I'll even use all four of the packs, but I got their one and one eighth inch that is their extra large pink roller so i will take it out and actually show you what it looks like they do actually have small medium large extra large jumbo and extra jumbo but i didn't want to do like a jumbo look since i just did jumbo flexi rods i just kind of wanted to keep it simple so yeah i honestly don't even know why they're called magnetic rollers it you know magnetic you're gonna think like there's a magnet or something but Honestly, I believe you just snap this part on. So I'm gonna take it out so I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is what the magnetic roller looks like. And yeah, so pretty much I'm just going to be rolling my hair on this roller like I would with a regular perm rod or whatever. Um, and then I just snap this on top and then it stays right in in place. So that is their magnetic hair roller. Um, yeah, one of my subscribers actually, sub not subscribed, actually, dang, why can't I think of the word? One of my subscribers, what? Oh, one of my subscribers recommended me, y'all. It is late, it's like eight o'clock I'm doing this. My head has been throbbing all day long. Um, but I wanted to have a nice cute little look over the weekend because me and the girls are going to be hanging out. So yeah, I'm talking a lot. Let me be quiet now. I am just going to apply or put these into my hair. Um, the product I am going to be using is one of my favorite foaming mousses. It is the Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse from my El Babasu collection. This is one of my favorite mousses. And um, yeah, my hair has already been shampooed and conditioned with the <sighs> my El uh, rosemary mint shampoo and deep conditioner if y'all were wondering y'all probably don't even care but yeah if you guys are interested in seeing how this actually this set comes out on my hair stay tuned it's my first time doing it but i'm sure it's gonna come out good so just stay tuned all right you guys so like i said my hair has already been washed and conditioned and now i'm just going to section my hair for these um, magnetic rollers and i'm not doing a bunch of different sections if you guys have watched any of my roller sets perm rod sets flexi rod sets you know i typically use like the bare minimum you can still get really good results without having to put a billion of these things in your head and it just saves a lot of time so doing roller sets are pretty darn simple for me. All I do is spray my section of hair with water, then I detangle with my tangle teaser, get all the tangles out, and the only product I use is a mousse. So you see me using the Mayel Babasu mousse, and yeah, mousses are just my go-to for roller or rod sets. Like, it moisturizes, it defines, it has hold, gets rid of frizz, all that. So definitely get you a mousse. All you need is about two good pumps, and like, you can see it just coats it so well so um i just go in one last time to make sure that my hair is nice and smooth and then i begin rolling it onto the roller and um it wasn't any different from a perm rod uh, i just rolled my end made sure it was nice and secure and then rolled all the way up and then once i got to the root that is where i 
apply the other part of this um, magnetic roller you just kind of snap it right on and it holds nice and in place So I just went ahead and repeated those exact same steps all around my head. Um, this didn't take me long at all. Uh, it wasn't much different from doing a regular perm rod set. The only difference is you have a little snap on part. So I am just going to fast forward through this so you guys can, you know, get through the process and then I'll show you the take down. So I have 19 of the rollers in my head. Um, not too many at all. I honestly did not feel like doing a bunch of these. So this should be perfectly fine. Um, I will do a spin around in just a second. But as far as these rollers, um, I don't know. I think it's gonna come out good. I hope it comes out good. Yeah, in the morning I'll take it out and I'll show you guys my final results. And yeah, let me do a spin around. So since I did do these so late, I did sit underneath the my hooded dryer for two hours and then I did let it dry um, overnight. That's why I was checking to see if it was still wet. But you can see that my curls look really, really nice. Um, and my hair was extremely soft. You'll even see that some of these were literally like, as soon as I took off the clip, my hair just fell right off from the roller, which has never ever happened before. I think my hair was just so soft because it was actually protected from this little cover that you snap on. Usually like when you use perm rods, your hair is just exposed. Um, but with these, it is kind of pretty much cover besides that little small area so i don't know i think that might have helped with making my hair just feel so soft and silky but yeah my curls looked really really good really really good coming out from the rollers so then i just took some oil applied a little bit to my hands to help with frizz and shine and all that and then i started to separate um these curls into smaller curls So I laid my edges and fluffed my hair a bit and then these are the final results. So my hair was extremely soft and silky, like I just loved it so much. My hair was defined, it was frizz free. Um, so it was every, you know, I had everything I looked for in a rod set. 
the only con I personally would have to say is that from using the snap-on part, it left this round bump on my hair. And you'll see it in the front when I turn around. And I just did not like it. I don't know what it was, but I hated that bump it had. I tried to fluff it with my hands and stuff, and it just would not go away. So that would be the only con I would say from using these. But other than that, I did really like this roller set. I'm mad I didn't get no pictures, but it's okay. Let me know what you guys think about this magnetic roller set and if you would use these or if you currently use these now so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video